Hello and welcome to AEW News, a brand new channel dedicated to all things All Elite Wrestling. And today we have some big news heading out of last night's Dynamite, so let's get in to the headlines. And today we've got the reason Scorpio Sky missed last night's AEW Dynamite. We've got a brand new title match added to this Saturday's Full Gear pay-per-view. We find out what Paul Heyman told Miro before he left WWE. And Cody gets a big name change after AEW Dynamite. And if you want to stay up to date with all things AEW news, make sure you subscribe to the channel and drop a like down below to help us out. But without any further ado, let's get in to the stories. So as you may know, a match was scheduled between Scorpio Sky and Sean Spears for last night's Dynamite after the two have been back and forth in a rivalry over the last few weeks. But before the two could come to blows, the match was cancelled. And AEW announced ahead of Dynamite that Scorpio Sky had come into contact with someone who tested positive for COVID-19. And AEW tweeted the following. Through contact tracing, AEW learned that Scorpio Sky was exposed to someone with COVID-19 within the last 14 days. An initial test was negative, but AEW has decided to postpone tonight's scheduled match. And let's hope these tests continue to be negative for Scorpio Sky, and hopefully he can return to AEW Dynamite soon. And of course, this is the third match on AEW that has been cancelled due to COVID reasons over the past few months. Lance Archer missed a six-man tag match ahead of his title match with John Moxley, which resulted in Eddie Kingston stepping into main event that show. And of course, more recently, Joey Janela was replaced by Sonny Kiss in the AEW World Title Eliminator Tournament two weeks ago. And now it's time for our next story and recently AEW's relationship with the National Wrestling Alliance has been growing and resulting in several NWA Women's Championship matches on All Elite Wrestling shows. This was how Thunder Rosa was introduced to AEW television and now the newest NWA Women's Champion Serena Deeb will be making a defense of her newly won title at AEW Full Gear. She will be putting the title on the line against Alison Kay, who is herself a former NWA Women's Champion before losing it to Thunder Rosa in January. This will be her first ever AEW appearance and hopefully it will be the first of many and she will be a great addition to the women's roster. So let's hope we see more of her going forward. And this week, the best man Miro appeared on Chris Jericho's Talk Is Jericho podcast, where he discussed his feud in the dying days of his WWE run with Bobby Lashley. And according to Miro, he was set for a main event push. At least, that's what Paul Heyman told him, as Miro said on the podcast. I left and I stayed at home for three, four months, and I think Paul Heyman called us with that storyline. And I was like, where is it leading? Of course, because this is my first question, it's not my favorite story, but where is it leading? Main event of WrestleMania, one of the main events of WrestleMania. And when you hear that, what are you gonna say? There's plans and this is September, October, whatever it was. So it's a few months plan that it's very realistic. Cool, I jumped on board. And as we know, Paul Heyman certainly has a way of bending the truth to get what he wants. But was this just a case of Miro drinking the famous Heyman Kool-Aid or did plans just change due to the pandemic? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And now it is time for our final story of the day as Cody has seemingly had another name change on Dynamite. Following his six-man tag victory teaming with the Gun Club against the Dark Order, Cody addressed the Florida crowd in Daly's place stating, it feels good to be Cody Rhodes again. All right, we have a bunch of wonderful dark matches. I'm not going to be out here too long. I wanted to share something that is private between us. It is not a social exclusive. It's private. As of this morning, I no longer just have one name. And whether, whether Justin Roberts says it or not, Cody 
And this follows recent news that WWE have dropped their attempt at renewing the trademark for the Cody Rhodes name, leaving the path open for Cody to become the owner of the trademark. And Cody's initial trademark application was refused on June 30th, 2020 by the United States Patent and Trademark Office. But now it seems that he can become the rightful owner, finally. Cody has gone on record many times saying that he doesn't need the Rhodes name in his name, but it certainly adds a lot to his character in AEW. And I think it's really good news that he has finally become a Rhodes once again. And what are the reasons for WWE dropping this trademark? Are they just trying to do Cody a favor? Do they maybe not think it's worth the money spending on getting the trademark back? Or do you think there may be some other reason behind it? Make sure you let us know in the comments below and let us know what you think of our first AEW news video here on this brand new channel and we're hoping to bring you daily AEW news and hopefully this channel can take off into the future so if you were here for our first video hopefully you can become known as one of the OGs and if you did get this far please drop a subscribe down below with notifications turned on and also why not click the like button while you're down there and let us know what you think of today's stories especially that Cody one I think that one's really good news and a long time coming but until next time, peace.